skippity boop bop bop what's happening taylor coming at you as a running gun videographer photographer you're a one-man army you got to do it all by yourself so you need the tools that are going to make your life easier so in this episode we'll talk about basically 10 different tools that are going to help you make your life a whole lot easier and they're not going to break the bank all right let's go so tool number one is going to be a camera strap but not only just any camera strap a camera strap with a quick connect right here. You see how I can take this strap off if I need to mount this to the gimbal. And so with this strap right here, it's also used as a gimbal. I like to hold it like this. This is a point of contact. And if you pull it really tight like this, you got some stability. So this camera right here is way more stable with this strap. Number two, we have a top handle, okay? So not just any top handle. This is a top handle from Small Rig, and it comes with this little universal thing. You put it on your camera rig. Now this is a rather large rig due to the battery grip, but they do make cages that go on non-battery grip cameras. But all this does is it swivels on to your rig, and so you got another point of contact right here. And what's cool about this one is it's got a little button right here, so you can pick your handle. You get the drift. So with this extra handle, it just gives you another point of contact right here. And now you're really closed in and you're able to do that. Handles do all kinds of things, but it's basically just another grab point. You can pick these handles up for about a hundred bucks on Amazon and it removes really quick. It's got a quick connect. You take it on, you take it off, you swivel here, swivel there. So handle, you don't even have to use this one. Just any other extra handle, you can mount it on the top or on the side, and it'll just give you a little extra control. So this next piece of equipment has to be one of the most important pieces that I've ever gotten for two reasons. One, another storage compartment, okay? This is a Hex Ranger bag. Now what's so good about this, it's not a fanny pack, it's a satchel. You're not really wearing that, are you? Wearing what? The man purse. It's where I keep all my things. I get a lot of compliments on this. Plus it's not a man purse, it's called a satchel. Indiana Jones wears one. And there's no Skittles in here. Nothing! Hey, there's Skittles in there! You can store so much. I put batteries, I got like eight batteries I'll put in here. And I have this as an SD card compartment. So it'll hold like, you know, four SD cards. You put your business cards in here. You can fit a small lens, even a camera body. I've rolled with a 35 millimeter and a whole nother body. Put all your tools in this zipper part. But the best thing about this is you can take this on a plane around your waist and it's not counted as a carry-on. It's actually a part of your attire. So you can save some room in your camera bag by getting one of these little a satchels. Satchel. And you can take this on shoot. You can keep your batteries in here for quick draw McGraw, um, re fast reloads. You can fit a 70 to 200 lens in here, a uh, Canon RF. Underneath, if you have a smaller tripod, you can actually mount a tripod underneath, but all my tripods are uh, a little bigger, except for this one that I've just found, Joby tripod. Joby has got to be the ultimate filmmaker's toolkit. With this one, it, I got it because it's a low hanging one, low profile. When I'm in the gym, I don't want a huge setup. I just want a minimal setup. With this one, basically, this can spread out pretty far. And there's just like some spinny things right here for a quick DS symbol. And you can mount your phone on this as well. But you see how small this is? I could literally put this strap underneath my bag or it'll go in my side pocket of my bag. Joby tripod, but we're not using this Joby tripod for a tripod actually. We're using it for almost a low hang camera angle. So this right here, all the weight is on the bottom. So it's way more stable. We know that to get more stability, we gotta make it heavier. So with this Joby tripod, we're able to hang and we can do some low action shots when we don't have access to those gimbals. And you know, I mentioned ways around a gimbal a lot because usually when you're on the go, you want the most minimal amount of equipment. So something like this for a Joby tripod, you get tired or you don't wanna hang anymore, you just need to set the camera down while you're on a job. You can go ahead and set it up like this. And this camera is very heavy with all this equipment on there and it's still holding it up pretty stable. So a Joby tripod is something you can definitely add to the list. It also comes with a phone clamp, 
So if you're in the gym and you want to get some shots and you don't have a friend who's good at holding the camera or they put their finger in front, you can put a phone clamp on this Joby tripod, wrap it around the weight bench or whatever machine, and you get your own content. So that's one hundred bucks for the heavier duty one. Get the heavier duty one. It wraps around and it holds you. It's called a gorilla tripod. So I mean, it's strong as a gorilla. We all have them, but no one uses them. Why do you need a lens hood? Who uses a lens hood? Do you even still have your lens hood? What this lens hood does is an old guy taught me that whenever you're on a shoot and you're switching lenses or you're putting your camera down, if you put your lens hood on and you put your camera down, your glass is protected. It's basically just a protector of your lens. Yeah, it's supposed to keep the sun out and all that good stuff and keep the flares out, but we like flares. But when you're on a shoot, this comes real in handy. Or if you gotta put your camera down for a second, you don't wanna just lay it down, your glass is all exposed without it. Get you a lens hood, it's like 40 bucks. And this one's signed by Brian Shaw, world's strongest man for a time, you know? Uh, that's all I had to get signed that day. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. So you remember my hex bag? Keep all my batteries and Skittles. Check this out. This is a lower pro clamp you get from Best Buy. And basically it's just a clamp right here. You got it around your neck. You want to be hands free. You just go ahead and pop that bad boy on and you got yourself a quick connect for your camera to allow yourself to be hands free. The SD card reader, USB to whatever phone you have. So let's say you're on a shoot, you want to drop some pictures on your long car ride home. You basically pop that SD card out Throw it in here, plug this underneath your phone, and you can drop all the photos onto your phone, import them, edit them, and before you get to your destination, if you're not in the driver's seat, you can have those photos edited for the client. Now, this one right here, this is gonna be for all the gimbal guys. This is a briefcase handle by Small Rig that I bought extra. It comes with some uh, mountable threads where you can put either a monitor or whatever you like and basically what it'll do it'll clamp right here on this arm and then once you have it you also have another hot shoe mount right here that you can actually put your microphones in and so what I like to do with this briefcase handle is basically get those underlying shots follow an athlete by the feet and look it's hanging like that so briefcase handle boom boom Speaking of the boom boom, one bonus thing, take this off of the gimbal. I'll show you why, check this out. If you don't wanna buy a Joby tripod, but you have the bottom of a gimbal, this joker right here, check this out, boom. You don't need a handle, you don't need a gimbal, you just need the bottom of the gimbal. And basically this is a almost like a underslung hanging balance beam. And whenever you're on a shoot, if you ain't got the lens hood, Check this out. You got your whole kickstand, boy. And it came with your gimbal. Right here at the bottom of the DJI. That's the RS2. I'll put that one down below as well. But, man, look. Use the parts. Use the things you have. You can rig it out each time a different way. And you'll, you'll always be changing it. So, bottom of the gimbal handle. It's a sleeper. I'm full of gadgets, but we'll finish it out with this. Basically, this is a filter kit for your lenses and you have your ND filters in here. This is an 82 millimeter Tiffin variable ND. Basically, whenever you're doing video in the daylight, you ever notice how everything is just so blown out and white? Unless you like raise your aperture all the way up, that's because the sun is so bright. So if you want that small depth of field, that 2.8 out in the sun, you're gonna need to put sunglasses on your lens. This packet right here holds all my filters, my black pro mist soft filter, even have a polarizing filter. You got these pockets containment, you can keep business cards in here, you can keep wads of cash for your big rollers, or you can keep some tool kits, you know, this quick swivel knife from a uh, small rig. So all kinds of tools just make your job easier. All this is not necessary. You learn as you go and you try and get the simplest amount amount of gear into your bag when traveling you'll learn less is more and you'll want lesser things as you grow because it's just 
more to keep track of. We'll link everything below. We do get a small take from the links if you use them. Just know that there is some monetary gain from that and that is your disclaimer. I hope you guys get out there, continue filming. This is art, not science. And do what you want, how you want. This is your life through your lens. So if you want to follow more, go ahead and subscribe below. We're working on a course to lay out a lot more details. So we're just kind of trickling some things out like this. So you guys be phenomenal or be forgotten and let's go.